He was um, clever. He was really clever. I think he might have been the most clever person I ever met. He thought everything through. Before he spoke, he, he could see the circuits moving inside his brain. Thinking of how best to put the words together and and how to make sure that what he said could only ever have one meaning so no one got confused. I'd get confused. He'd get frustrated. And when he was angry, that circuit in his brain broke. He didn't think about what he was going to say next. He just let the words flow and... And they would hit me just as hard as if he had chosen to throw bricks. As damaging as that experience was, I wouldn't have changed it because... It made me a stronger person. It's caused this wound to appear in my chest, but... And right next to my heart. And it will never heal. But I'm learning to live with that. My friends told me to get out. Stop making excuses for him. Without my friends, I'm sure I'd still be with him. <laughs> I've s I stopped expecting an apology from him because I know that I never would have gotten one anyway, and I found a way to get on with my life without needing to s without needing him to say I'm sorry I don't need to hear his voice <laughs> ever again if I think again maybe he wasn't very clever <laughs> he must have known eventually people would notice something was wrong Maybe he's happy I left. My friends say I shouldn't think about him so much, and I haven't got him out of my head just yet. One day I will.